Welcome to Windows 2012 R2 training course part 3. In this video we will review how Active Directory is used in a network environment and what is a domain, a tree, and a force. Let's start with a basic understanding of a computer network. So what is a computer network? A computer network is a set of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing resources. The most common resource shared is a connection to the internet. Other shared resources can include a printer or a file. Let's start with one network. For this example, the company's name is called Live Mobile Technology. Here's a diagram of a domain and in that domain are users, resources, and a network. Users such as accounting, tech department, sales department, managers, etc. All the users in live mobile technology domain can access resources in this network. As long as the users are given permission to do so, all the users in live mobile technology belongs to one domain. So what's a domain? A domain is defined as a logical group of computers that share the same Active Directory database. An Active Directory can scale to millions of objects. Regardless of how big your network is and how many places around the world is located, when possible, you want to keep your network to just one domain. But there will be many other scenarios that you may have a network with more than one domain. We will review that scenario on the next training video. You can split your domain into many subdomains. Such subdomain are sales.livemobiletechnology.com or you can put .local and then we have customerservice.livemobiletechnology.com or we can put .local. So when you have more than one domains like these that share the same root namespace. In this case, Live Mobile Technology is your root domain. These are referred to as being in the same tree. And Live Mobile Technology is at the top of the tree, so it is considered to be the root domain. So remember that as long as you have sales or customer service that shares the Live Mobile Technology namespace, then sales and customer service is part of the tree. So each domain has its own group of user and computers and that means each domain has its own Active Directory database. There's one structure that links all these together. It's called a force. A force encases multiple domains and trees into one structure. You don't have to have multiple domains and trees to have a force. What do I mean by that? As soon as you create your first domain, a force is automatically created for that domain. When I added two child domains to live mobile technology, these now form a tree in the force. All domains in a force have something in common. That is, they share what is called the schema. On my next video, we will review the schema and trust between multiple domains and trees in a force. Thanks for watching my training video and help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. This will help me a lot. Visit me online at www.livemobiletechnology.com. And if you like this video, click on the like button for me at the bottom of the screen.